Hello and welcome back, my friends. I'm Daily Fix, and we're playing as Daily David. The fifth episode of our World and Ice and Fire campaign. Now, I did do some of camera work, so let me show you. We are at the moment on. Oh my god, where is it? <laughs> no! We are uh, on day 21, actually, in, in, in the safe, as you can see. I promised you that I was going to do some off-camera work, and as you can see by the amount of my money, I have done so. What I basically did is I went all the way over to the other side, please, to Salt Ponds, and I was just starting trading with um, Gulltown. The only thing that you have to worry about are the, um, the bandit parties. They can be very, very strong, and they move quite fast, so if you don't have the... Um, how do you call it? The um, pathfinding. Uh, either just go to Fair Market or River Run, perhaps even Maiden Pool if you can invade the Westerland army. Uh, but going all the way up to Winterfell, White Harbor, it's probably not as cost efficient if, uh, as, as you would like. So I, I made an, a nice amount of money. My party is um, still the same. Still the same, I got some um, more prisoners I believe. Um, let me stop moving because I need to be there. Also, oh yes, we did level up. Also my throat has been acting weird and... <coughs> Sorry for that. So I will be taking a sip of my coffee. Yes, coffee and throat, eh? they go hand in hand. Also, my neighbors are either <coughs> moving or just completely destroying their, uh, their furniture so you might hear that uh, there's not much I can do about it now we leveled up twice and I want to go get 15 in strength and make sure that is in there and I'm not sure if I, if I want to start going into like leadership already but I actually wouldn't mind getting a point extra in trade so we'll get have to get it up to six uh, also no looting isn't that interesting for me inventory management neither okay let's go for the iron flesh let's go it like that let's go to king rob stark of windfell i've turned off the stenema I've turned off the animated intro because I just despite waiting for five seconds. It's a cool feature, don't get me wrong, I really like it. But not for series. Uh, so that's King Rob Stark. I'm King Rob Stark, the ruler of the north and the lord of Winterfell, Moat Caelan, Nori and Fever. Peace to you, always remember the temper with failure and mercy, your courage with honor. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's quite cool. Um, so we tell them that we come from King's Land and all shit has broken loose. Um, and we will be trying to help you. But we're not going to be trying to do so. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm considering leaving uh, Westerland. And this because I... I got a comment saying that I might want to go to Essos and try my luck there as the uh, as an enlisted soldier. And this way, if you're going to desert, it isn't that much of an issue. I'm actually looking and I'm really feeling there are some villages and towns missing. It's just so much country. Also, I want to visit Bravos actually because I want to see if that Iron Bank is also there and if it's really doing something for us. What I'm quite worried about is, um, of course, these broken men because they have a movement speed that is uh, quite nice for them. So let's go to White Harbor. Now, what I was trying to say is, I'm quite worried about if I'm going to enlist. I might lose my guys. Uh, also, there is an enterprise in, in like each town that is like 15k to buy. I'm not sure. Did I 
No, I haven't met the guild master yet. So let's do that as well. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm backtracking, guys. You know me. At least I'm on my mount this time. Actually, some of these towns are so beautifully made. Winterfell, the inner court, is actually how I remember it from, from the HBO series. So, I, I take my hat off to you if I had a hat. Actually, I'm, I'm considering purchasing, like, this cool-ass hat. Or just, like, I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's very on topic. Okay. Weaponsmith. Now, let's see. This is a cracked Lannister helmet. If there's an armor, I, I wouldn't actually mind tro Cool way, you peasant. Okay, let's get off our horse. Refine, lens the helmet. 170. We'll be able to make it rusty. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It now has 26. 26 head armor. Let's see what it really does to us. Okay, that's so it was 26 and it's now 27. Okay, let's try this again. Um, um, I, I don't think I want to be spending 588 on this. So, no, but it, it really is working. It's actually quite interesting of a feature. If I say so myself. Now, get on my back, get on my horse. It would be funny if I could upgrade my horse, though. I would like to see that process. Or maybe not. Now, it does appear that the guild master is over here. Um. Oh, yeah, I have to spend some money. So, we'll do that in the, in the near future. Uh, also, let's go to the locals. Goods. First of 414. Now... I did notice if you and we have to go back to Winterfell. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that scared the living shit out of me. I don't really don't like the forest though, especially not in the in the battles because it does appear that all the trees are just moving in their axle, and and I can see where they where they wanted to go. Like there's movement in each tree, but. For the less good machines, I think it's a bit of an overkill. Uh, let's go to goods. As you can see here, furs is um, not as expensive. So, 250 What I'm actually wanting to do is, is take this on my journey to Essos. And see if it's really that much of a difference. With uh, Westeros, like in A Clash of Kings, where the uh, the first in Westeros will sell an asses like I don't know, like three, four times as much. Um, there you go. First things first, uh, locals, goods. Okay, so we so we bought up to two fifty. I'm actually thinking that that was a mistake. Um, travel to another port it will cost you some money and I want to go to Bravos. so let's get started I'm not sure if you will be attacked while traveling but we'll have to find out the hard way also I have no control over my camera so You'll have to excuse me for this rather annoying uh, close-up. <laughs> yeah, and war has been starting to break out as well. So, you could always enlist in that arm. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Okay, first things first. Okay, we are going to be making a, a profit. Actually, we'll sell this one somewhere else now we got it in other activities yeah look at that there you go the iron bank 
So the Iron Bank of Bravos is the main bank of Bravos and arguably the most powerful financial institute in the known world. You can see the bank ships, banks ship docked at the Purple Harbor. And in front court looks as grand as the people inside. The bank is famous for its this discretion and secrecy. Though one would be wise to remember if debts are not paid back when promised the Iron Bank will have its due. Oh my god, you can only like borrow money in here. Oh. Uh, I'm actually... Yeah. That, that's not the bank. That's a, the, the, the Iron Loan Shark of Brothers. I'm sorry. Um... Oh, yeah, okay, well, whatever, whatever, right? Uh, let's take a look at the in. The one thing, though, are... Uh, Engu. <laughs> well, Engu, uh, you're a fighter. Okay, that's cool. King's Guard, that's amazing. Yeah, you've been doing great. Um, but I do believe, yeah, these guys are all so bloody expensive. How about you? There is one free companion, I believe. I have no clue who that is, though. So, you'll have to excuse me. Probably it will be mentioned in the comment section. Do you have a drink with me? Uh, sorry, go away. You're a Bravo C trainee. Actually, this this looks rather cool. Um, Yeah, I like it. I actually would see myself sitting in, in one of these uh, pillows. Oh, well, I like sitting on pillows. Pillows rock. Pillows are so soft. That's the point of a pillow, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, let's go. Um, we could... Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> let's go to the Lord's Hall. Skilled Bravos. Um, cool. Are we, are we actually going to be joining the Bravos? A kindly man. Yeah, I'm sure you are very kindly. Let's take a quick look. Now, Bravos, by the looks of it, is like a main town and a village. Is the rest in hiding? It's, um, wow. No wars, no allies. Oh, that's actually... Oh, guy. Oh, that's that's quite cool, actually. I do like that. And uh, this way you can very easily see that um, the Dothraki are in war with Norvos. So we could go to Norvos. Let's see, Norvos. That's over there. And they are in war with... That's Pentos. Oh, wow. Where the, where the heck are these guys? Wait a minute. Are, are they... Okay, that these guys then. Wow, that there must be some war, right? But actually, maybe we want to be joining whatever faction that has a war going. Wait a minute. Can I? Are we seriously stuck in there? Well, I guess I am. Um, travel to another port. Can I travel to Norvos? Most likely not. No. But we could go to Pentos. So let's go there then. I was actually hoping of doing a tiny bit of a fight in this episode. Um, but I've I've been told that this game is... That the start is just devastating. Mess it up and you'll have a very, very tough time. But as soon as you start rolling and you get the troops and you're into the fightings and all, then, then it's then it's actually quite quite enjoyable. No oh my god. I'm going to lose. Oh my god, did I? Is there one more? Is that it? 
holy crap <laughs> well there you go we had our fight <laughs> it's not not really what i expected though uh, let me be very honest about that um, once again let's uh, try trading with the oh my god look at that that's nice thank you there you go we got our money back uh, we actually i believe we have made a very very small profit <laughs> I'm still debating if it was really worth it though. Uh, the road to Norvos will be extremely dangerous. So we have to be very careful. Look at that. Bandits. 26 of them. Not just bandits, right? They're br um, brigades and brigades. Oh, Steam is finally starting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see this. But uh, I'm, I'm downloading Total War Shogun. I'm also going to be practicing um, Medieval 2. But man. I'm, I'm not sure if I can do it though. Beggin Brothers. We don't have to go all the way up to Norvos, to be honest. No, go away. I don't have money. Well, I do have some monies, but still. Are they fighting somewhere? That is the question. I don't want to go into the largest army, so we'll be joining this one. Um, I'd like to enlist. Here we go. So, what I'm interested in knowing, actually, is okay, I got a no. I still got most of my stuff. I, he only gave me like crap armor. That, that's that's actually not bad. Will they come back? I'm not sure. So we can request an audience. Let's see what we can do over here. Um, we can ask for personal leave. I'd like to talk to you about something. Well, apparently we are not entitled to talk about leveling up. So we'll be just joining these guys for a second here. Um, while that's done, uh, let me cut away until we have a fight at least. Wow, guys, that surely was the most boring experience that I've ever had. <laughs> In Mountain Blade, oh, we are not going to do this. We are going to be retiring. Um, let me give you. Oh wait, no, done. Uh, can I do? Give you some prisoners now. Uh, I'm sorry, enlisting. That that that's not something I'll enjoy. I've actually lost two prisoners, so I'm not that happy about that. Uh, what we'll do is we are going back to Westeros. I uh, will do some more trading and once we have about 15 to 20 okay let's go back I, I don't want to fight exalt knights that doesn't usually doesn't end well um, so next episode and I'll, I'll travel right up to salt pumps if I can other to otherwise to gold town I'll be starting to trade um back at between 10 and, and 20k somewhere we can use that money to get some troops going and start attacking some of the bandit parties that that is the way i enjoy to play mount and blade as for now thank you for watching leave your advice and comments uh, down below and don't forget to like the video if you have liked it as for now have a good one bye bye